Attack on Titan, 10 Creepiest Characters, Ranked. Whether it's their appearance, personality, or goals, these Attack on Titan characters are quite creepy. The pure titans threatening those who live on the island of Parody may be victims of a long and brutal war. But that doesn't save them from being called creepy. Each titan falls deep into the uncanny valley, sending shivers down even the most fearless fans of Attack on Titan. There's no doubt that Hajime Isayama has creeped out fans with his hit manga series Attack on Titan. And the scenes and characters only get creepier once they're in anime form. In fact, Titans, Eldians, and Ackermans all share the burden of creeping out fans throughout the four seasons of AOD. 10. Erwin Smith's devotion to the truth is unsettling. The former commander of the Survey Corps is admired by many and creeped out by few. Those who admire him look to his devotion to the truth as something to respect. Those who are creeped out by him see his desire to hunt down the Titans as a bit obsessive. There are some moments throughout Aoti where Erwin's mission casts a dark shadow over his face. But for the most part, the 13th commander stands proud in the face of truth. Perhaps then, it is the truth that scares those who find Erwin creepy. 9. The way Mikasa effortlessly cuts down man and titan alike is concerning. Mikasa isn't creepy in the same way that many of the characters in Attack on Titan are considered creepy. She doesn't have a strange titan body or a desire to seek out peace in oddly obsessive ways. Still, if the introduction of Mirror Man in the Lost in the Cruel World OVA proves anything, Mikasa has some pretty creepy inner thoughts and ideas about the world. Though she avoids creeping fans out for the majority of the series by staying quiet, her devotion to Eren is rather unsettling. Staying loyal to a childhood friend is one thing, but by aiding him in his assault on Marley, Mikasa forces fans to question whether she enjoys carnage over diplomacy as well. 8. Hank's obsession with the Titans is just a bit creepy. The person who inherits the title of Scout Commander after Erwin Smith's early demise has a long history of studying and interacting with Titans. Their fascination with Titans is endearing at times, but it hinges on the edge of creepily obsessive on more than one occasion. The carnage that the Titans bring with them is both devastating and disgusting. The majority of the Aoti cast either fear or despise the giant humanoids. Hang, on the other hand, adores them. Until it is made clear that the Titans are in fact humans, this adoration is quite creepy. 7. Aaron's lack of empathy is terrifying by the time he reaches adulthood. Aaron's obsession with killing Titans is certainly well warranted. After watching his mother being devoured by one of the creepiest pure titans in all of Aoti, Aaron devoted his life to seeking out revenge. This devotion may be warranted, but it falls apart the moment he realizes that he himself stands at the center of the titan world. Perhaps it was in this confusion that Aaron lost himself to the idea of genocide. However it happened, Aaron's obsession turned him into a silent killer with the strength to commit genocide on a massive scale. 6. Rod Rice association with the occult is made worse when fans find out about the founding titan ritual. The true king of the island of Parody is a creepy old man with a mustache. Though it isn't fair to judge a man by their appearance, Rod's actions push him so deep into the realm of the occult that exceptions must be made. After the truth of the founding titan's lineage is shared with viewers, Rod Rice stands as the sole representative of a creepy and corrupt ritual designed to hide the truth from the Eldian inhabitants of Parody. Hajime Isayama really knew what he was doing when he designed Rod Rice human and titan form. 5. The way Annie shifts from silent to murderous is disturbing. It is hard to put words to the attributes and actions that make Annie Leonhardt creepy. 
Perhaps it has something to do with the slight grin she shares with viewers during the female titan's attack on the Survey Corps. Or maybe fans were creeped out by the giddy laughter that shook through Annie when Armin discovered that she was the female titan. Of all the things that Annie has done, the creepiest part about her has to be her inactivity. Throughout the majority of AOD Annie is silent and inactive. When she then decides to act, she becomes quite murderous. 4. Lara Tiber's character design looks like it was pulled straight out of the horror genre. Lara Tiber's creepiness is largely the result of her character design. The former wielder of the Warhammer Titan presented herself as a refined young woman with a powdered face and perfect posture. Pairing this with the intensity of her eyes makes Lara a better fit for a horror series and a shonen anime. 3. Dalis Zachary's fascination with torture is gross and creepy. The creepy old man in charge of the Marlian military had a number of supporters after he allowed Levi and the scouts the chance to recruit Aaron Yeager. He further enhanced his likability by aiding the scouts in a military coup that would put fan favorite, Historia Rice, on the throne. Dalis Zachary ruined his likability the moment he revealed his torture fetish. Though the royals he tortured in various ways were anything but innocent, the way Zachary reveled in their pain was beyond creepy. It was gross. 2. The combination of intelligence and disloyalty makes Zeke Jaeger one of the scariest characters. Zeke Jaeger is terrifying in his human form and his titan form. As a human, Zeke hides behind a set of round frames and intelligent words that stop others from recognizing his traitorous intentions. As a titan, Zeke takes the form of a giant monkey with long arms and a round belly. But this is not what sets his titan apart from the others. The beast titan demonstrates intelligence that few other titans possess. Not only does he prefer to keep his enemies at a distance by utilizing projectiles in combat, but the Beast Titan is also able to speak intelligently as well. When fans are first introduced to Zeke as the Beast Titan, his voice has the power to shake them to their core. 1. The uncanny nature of the pure Titans is chillingly creepy. The creepiest part of Attack on Titan has to be the pure Titans. These poor Eldian souls forced into their titan form through unnatural means are unique and uncanny monstrosities that will send chills down anyone's spine. The creepiest of all the pure titans is the smiling titan. Dina Fritz died with a smile on her face and was reborn as a beast that would set the entire plot of Aoti in motion. Fans will never forget the smiling titan's first appearance as she tore Eren's mother out of the rubble and devoured her right in front of their eyes.